that's inviting. It's a city for a woman just like me. There's a lake they call Lake Michigan. I think I'm really fitting in. This city is my perfect cup of tea. Chicago! 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 The doctor says I ain't never gonna walk again. Not even on crutches. But I'm gonna tell you I'm a woman in Chicago who's scared. I love that they call this a catwalk. Because my name is Cat. And look, I'm walking. Walking on the catwalk. If someone was pushed off this catwalk and they landed on the floor really hard, do you think they'd live? Why are you asking that? No reason. Tori. Hey. We want to give you this t-shirt. It says special effects crew. Thanks. It looks used. Yeah, that was my shirt. What are these stains? Who can remember? Who can... You can't remember? It has arrived. Yeah, there she is. <laughs> cool, what's that? This is a turbo jet to create the tornado for the play. Ooh, it blows? It blows. Blows. Blows, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Show. We'll start on medium. Sorry, Singe. It happens. Wow, this thing's powerful. Yep, and it doesn't just blow. You flick that little red guy into reverse, it sucks. <laughs> Shower. Right. Now come here! Whoa! That's insane! <laughs> yeah. The storm is getting worse. You think I can't see that? Now get down below for anything else. Oh, okay. Oh, Captain, you've been hit by lightning. I, I can't get up. You better dock the boat. We're not docking. I'll captain this boat. You? Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> That little girl is sick. Help me. Please, help. We've got to get her to New Orleans by daybreak. You can't captain a boat. You're just a woman. I may be a woman, but that doesn't mean I'm not the best dang steamboat captain this here river's ever seen. Now men will always tell you how they do it all, while women do the work you never see. But so is it would happen, you're in great need of a captain. Oh, a captain, and that captain is me. And so as it would happen, we're in great need of a captain, while a captain is a captain is she. <laughs> Hold, cut, cut, cut. Can I help you? Yeah, I got flowers for uh, uh, Tori Vega. Me? Huh. I wonder who would have sent me flowers. Oh, Tori, those are bush daisies! Oh, what's up? I am way allergic to bush daisies. Like, if I get anywhere near them, my whole face starts swelling up and I start sweating and shaking. Well, who would have sent you bush daisies? I don't know. Or maybe I do. How did you know I was allergic to bush daisies? I do my research. You looked up my medical records? I'll answer that right after you stick your face in those bush daisies. Listen to me. I'm doing this play. I auditioned, I got the lead, and I'm doing it. I don't care what you do. All right. Pick it back up where we left off. Trina. Yep. I wasn't believing your cough. You need to really sell the tuberculosis. Uh, like this? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's not good. Hey, hey, 
Robbie's in the hospital. What? Oh. Robbie? What's wrong with him? I don't know. His stomach was hurting really bad, so an ambulance took him to the emergency room and they x-rayed him. And what'd they find? Well, according to this text message from Rex, <laughs> it says there's a car parked in Robbie's butt. Oh, my God! I don't know what that means. Well, who would? Is Robbie gonna be okay? I don't know. His parents are in Bocas. I'm gonna head over to the hospital. Well, can we come? We want to see Robbie. Psychowitz? Yes, of course. But the play starts at 7.30. We'll be back way before then. Come on. Okay. Bye. Whoa, wait, Jade. What? Is this just another trick to get me out of the play so you can steal my part? No. And what if you're lying? <sighs> Fine. I'll go to the hospital. You stay here. Okay. Wait, what? <laughs> How do I know that you're not tricking me by having me stay here while you go to the hospital? Both of you go to the hospital! All right, we'll both go. Oh, Kat. I feel like I've done something terrible to you. Yeah. <laughs> you hate me now? No. I just want something bad to happen to you. <laughs> not, like, really bad, just... Something to ruin your weekend. I'll try. I'd appreciate it. Can I just be alone now? Okay. Hug? No. Hey. I think that Evan guy is really dumb for not seeing how great you are. You want to hear the new song I've been working on? I don't know if I'm in the mood to listen. Please? Okay. I think you're swell. I think you're swell. The nugget in my chicken make the peanuts in my butter Adding fiber to our diets beneficial for each other Your piece of dental floss and I am the teeth You're Aretha Franklin, I'm R-E-S-P-E-C-T I love you like a cop's marathon on TV I love you more than the original Star Wars trilogy You're a guitar and I'm the strings like a jet ski in the water You're New York, I'm the buildings, you're my mother, I'm your father <laughs> And I think you're swell Every day when you're walking down the street is like every other day because you're constantly walking down the street. <laughs> and every day I'm only thinking about you and a bunch of other important things, but primarily you. And that's true, because I think you're swell. I think you're swell. I'll be the Jagger to your Richards, the Captain Kirk to your Picard. If you're a molten lava room, I'll be the one in Epicard. We go together like pastrami on rye, like watching Titanic and trying not to cry. We go together like a parade to confetti, and later if you're hungry, I'll make you some spaghetti. Would there be meatballs? There would. <laughs> Oh my gosh, oh, how come you never told me what you're oh. oh. Get him down! Stop the play! Well, I guess someone should get this on video. Oh. making me come to this play. They're poor ranch house. Please tell me it's over. It's over. Get this wall off of me! Come on, help me! Get off of me! See that? 
Yep, she went up that ladder. She in there? Let's find out. Wait! I'm scared. I saw a movie once where two teenagers just like us were in a situation just like this when they went Robbie, in. Robbie, Robbie, yeah. Robbie. Yeah. If you don't take your hands off me in the next two seconds, you won't have hands. One, two. You guys want some corn nuts? What are you doing here? I'll have some corn nuts. Cat? Well, I guess I kinda live here now. Why are you living in a tiny room in the attic of our school? Well, you know how my brother's kinda weird? Uh, yeah? You've mentioned that. Well, my parents took him to this special place in Idaho where doctors can make sure he gets lots of mental relaxation and can't escape. Well, how long are your parents going to be with your brother in Idaho? Between six months and two years. Two what? years? My brother's pretty messed up. Okay, but why have you been sleeping here at school? Because my parents wanted me to stay with my Uncle Walter and Aunt Pearl, but they're mean. What's wrong with them? Everything. They don't like my red hair. They only eat vegetables. They said I can't have unlimited texting, and they won't let me flush the toilet unless it's absolutely necessary. So, you ran away? Uh-huh. I live here now. Oh, come on. You have to have some other relative you can live with. What about your grandmother? Yeah, what do you call her? Nona? I would love to live with my Nona, but she moved away to Italy. Whoa. You can't live here. In no way. Why? I've got this rope. <laughs> these extra long extension cords. A light bulb. So, it's not so bad. Except when the giant mice jump down from the ceiling. Giant mice? Oh my god! How often do they jump down from the ceiling? What role will Cat be playing at the great Psychowitz sleepover? Cat will play a 1980s stand up comedian who's very annoying. I want to be a unicorn. You can't. Fooey. Now, Cat, who will Robbie be playing? Well,. I've decided Robbie's role should be a motivational speaker. Oh, I could do that. Who just drank some weird beverage that makes his legs weak and wobbly. <laughs> okay, so uh, I'm a motivational speaker with jelly legs. <laughs> yeah, I'm creative. <laughs> Wonderful. Robbie, tell us the character you've chosen for Beck. Sure. One sec. Okay, Beck will be playing a guy from England whose accent is really hard to understand and he's always invading people's personal space. No problem. Andre, what do you have in store for Toro? Did you just call me Toro? Maybe. It's Tori. I know, but I do love that fatty tuna. Should I be offended? Okay, uh, Tori's character will be a cop who wears way too much red lipstick and is obsessed with Raisin Bran. Where did you come up with that? Well, see, I had this dream last night and this lady cop was all like, <laughs> she was all like, <laughs> and then I was like, <laughs> I just thought of it. All right, Tori, tell us what Jade will be. Love to. Jade will be an innocent farm girl from Alabama who's always super sweet and nice and never gets upset about anything. 
I'd rather slam my tongue in a car door. <laughs> now tell us who Andre will be playing. Uh, fine. You're gonna be a guy who's just finished running a marathon. Okay. Who also happens to be nine months pregnant. Who's the daddy? All right, I created this little computer model of the Asphalt Cafe. That's where we have lunch. Yes, it, it sure is. Are we gonna talk about this prom or what? Okay, uh, since you mentioned prom, a lot of people have told me they don't want Hollywood Arts to have a normal prom. So the first idea I came up with is we call it a prom. Right? I like oh, prom. That is really stupid. <laughs> Yeah, prom, you're a genius. Now get on with it. I had a burrito for lunch. Thank you, Rex. Uh, now, decorations. Any ideas for a prom theme? Okay, okay. What if... Okay. <laughs> what if the theme was like space pirates, you know, from outer space? Oh, and there could also be kangaroo babies. Yeah, yes. <laughs> Look, we only have a few days to put this prom together, so we need a simple theme. Balloons are fun. My father owns a rubber factory. And they have balloons? Oh, yes. All right, good. Now, um, Andre, you and I will book the band, which will play up here. And, uh... Andre! Mm, yeah, yeah, rubber band. Sounds good. Okay, now, um, next, we should probably talk about... Oh! Hey, Jade, uh, did you want to join the our... You just had to have your stupid prom this Saturday night? We're calling it a prom? I was supposed to do my performance this Saturday night. Now, Psycho, it says I can't, because you booked the Asphalt Cafe for your stupid prom. Prom. <laughs> Cancel it! No! N no? No. No? No. Okay. All right. Have your prom. But know this, you're gonna wish you didn't. Andre, did you hear what she said? No, what'd she say? Dream, it's a scene and it's so brand new. If you think you can't stop it, then the joke is on you. So, how was that? Well, Trina, I would never use the word terrible, except in this case. Psychowitz, come on. She's a kid. You liked it? Oh, no, you're the worst. I'm sorry, but we can't accept you here at Hollywood Arts. Okay. I guess I'll just leave then. Unless you guys are up for a challenge. What kind of challenge? I fight all five of you. If I win, you let me in the Hollywood arts. Ha! Let's dance. Foolish child. Bring it on, boo. Majigay! <laughs> special song all about your favorite foods. Sing about dinosaurs. No! <laughs> now get ready. What I like about cheese is that you can put it on veggies and it tastes mm -mm, so good. 
it's my favorite thing to do. Ooh. Every treat from yellow to blue. Ooh. Red and green, so let's all sing. Tell me all about your favorite food. Mine is pizza. And I like hamburgers too. I'll eat ice cream cake till my tummy aches. But then here's what I'll do. Here's what I'll do. Share some of mine with you. Yummy, yummy. Thousand bucks. Not enough. <laughs> well, I like noodles in a bowl. A chicken nuggets make me lose control. Because they taste mm -mm, so good. Yeah! I'll eat ice cream cake till my tummy aches. But then here's what I'll do. Here's what I'll do. Share some of mine with you. Yummy, yummy. Do another song. No! About your script? Yeah. Why did you change all my lines to alien words? Well, it's not because I think you're a bad actor. Duh. So can I say some of my lines in American? Well, I just felt like you're such an amazing actor. You don't even need real words to be great. Yeah, I get it. Huh? Say an alien. Okay, you ready? Red eye. All right. Close the back legs using the beeline. Okay, okay. Uh... Faster, faster. Bring up cans one, two, and four on the flirty cat standee. Flirty cat, flirty cat, cans one, two, four. Strike the palm tree. Hello. Run, woman. <laughs> Splash the stage with multicolored gobos. Okay, gobos, gobos. Strobe the lasers J through Z, a four second burst. Okay. Strobe it. Laser burst. Uh. <laughs> Kill the gobos! Gobos off! And done! 28 seconds. Woo! I am gonna rock that tech theater exam. <laughs> You're gonna get at least a B on this, Tori. Monica! You cannot die! You're gonna ruin everything, Monica! It looks fantastic. I know, we did great. I don't know what happened. You're a killer. I'm not. I loved her. You're a killer! I loved her! Yeah, they do. Ooh, shh, here come more credits. You said you put all our names at the end. I did. Dale must have taken them off. Thank you. He's taking all the credit. Thank you so much. Oh, that was sick. He's taking all the credit. I can't believe this. Yes! My face still hurts. Just say you'll marry me. Excuse me, but most women don't want to be screamed at when they're being proposed to. Oh, come on! I'm rich. I'm handsome. I have nine boats! Stop acting like a stupid girl! Wait, you got a little something right there. What? This! Oh! <laughs> Suddenly, my choice is clear. I knew when only you and I were standing here And beautiful is all I see It's
it's only you I know it's true It has to be does not look good. Agreed. Uh, it's not her fault. They took three pints of blood out of her. <sighs> <coughs> that little... That little girl is sick. Help me. Please help me. We gotta get her to... to... Um, New Orleans. Newborn beans. By dark bark. <coughs> Help! You can't captain a boat. You're just a woman. You... you may be a woman. But that doesn't mean... I'm not the best ding-ding robot captain that this... river's ever... Yeah. Man will always la-la-la-la-la-la. Woman always da 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 dee so I'm not a captain, I'm a pretty little salmon, oh. Curtain! Curtain! Um, we'll be taking a brief intermission. Give me all your... threes. Go, Flush. It's fish. Bobby, I'm bored. I don't want to play anymore. All right, well, do you want to play something else? Like what? Arr! No! <laughs> Bobby, you can just go home. I'll be fine here. No. I'm not gonna leave you in this little tiny room by yourself with rats in the ceiling. Cat, grab your stuff. We're going for a ride. To where? To your grandmother's apartment. 
But I told you, she moved to Italy. No, I called your parents. Your Nona moved to Venice. Right. That's in Italy. I looked it up. Venice, California. It's 12 miles from here. Well, that explains why I saw her at the mall last weekend. You think she'd let me move in with her in Venice of America? Yes, your parents talked to Nona and she'd love to have you come live with her. Really? It's almost five o'clock. Come on, Larry. What are we doing? I told you, Larry has to get some fresh air outside every hour. Come on, Larry, fly to my finger. Ah! I know you missed my finger. Ah! Larry, Larry, stay there. I'm coming, son. Larry, stay there. I guess that's a wrap for the day. Oh, hey, you guys want to go grab some sushi at Nozu? Yay. I don't want to, but I will. Oh, remember, we have to let Robbie take our wigs off. Or we could go to Nozu in our wigs. Why? Because have you ever wondered what it's like to be a blonde? No. I've wondered that. I've also wondered why lemonade is a drink and first aid is for the injured. Like, what if a thirsty person gets injured? Do you give them first aid first and then lemonade? Or lemonade first and then second aid? <laughs> lemonade. <laughs> I'm doing it! I'm doing it! I'm a woman in Chicago learning how to walk again. Thanks to Doc Stevens and my new plastic legs. <laughs> Take that, Chicago. You're no match for a woman like me. From now on, I'm calling this city Chicago. <laughs> before our play begins. Where is my coconut milk? You're drinking it. <laughs> so am I. Cat, don't turn on 21. Don't what? Turn on 21. 21 on. No, no, no. Cat, <laughs> you just shocked me. I'm sorry. Next up, we have Tori and Jade. Um, okay, uh, for our scene, I'm gonna be playing an old lady who's walking home from a bingo game. And I play a brutal mugger. <laughs> yes, a brutal mugger who mugs me without actually hurting me. Okay, as always, be careful. And if anything goes wrong, just yell the safe word, which is butternut. <laughs> okay, guys, ready? <laughs> and... Butternut what? <laughs> Tori, what's the problem? I was testing the safe word. It works! <laughs> okay, I'm ready. And... Action. Oh, I certainly did enjoy the bingo. Although I do miss Bob Hope. <laughs> Give me your money. What? I ain't playing. Give me your money and your watch. Well, wouldn't you rather have this? Ow! Let me see, let me Are see. you okay? No, Tori hit me in the face for real. No, I didn't. Tell that to my bloody eye. Ow! All right, you better sit down. Somebody grab a chair. Yeah, quickly, get a chair. Quick, get a chair. Here, here, here. Here, here we go. Here we go. Just sit down. Ah! That was a breakaway chair. Me, ama, me, do,
Fantastic! Bravissimo! Truly amazing, Miss... Vega. Trina Vega. Well, Trina Vega, as principal of Hollywood Arts, I can tell you right now, you're in! <laughs> oh my gosh. Thank you. God bless you all. Well, all right, everyone. Let's take five. Inspiring. Hey! You got some hot pipes. Oh, thank you. What's your name? Sinjin. I've been going to the school for a whole year. Wow, cool. Yeah. I set up all this audio equipment. And I ran these cables that go to the lights. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah, I think so. But that light just hit me right in the throat. Oh no. Can you still sing like an angel? Let me see. Me, amore, me, ido, belle, handsia. And an important thing to remember is that all movie directors have different styles of filming a movie. Action! <laughs> what? That's what they say when they make movies. We're not making a movie right now. Cut! <laughs> All right, let's take a look at a scene from a short film that Sinjin made last year. Yes, yes. <laughs> Welcome to Robberazzi, starring Robbie Shapiro. Robberazzi, your home for up to the minute tasty gossip about the students at Hollywood Arts. Robberazzi, starring Robbie Shapiro. Oh my God. Coming up on Robberazzi, Tori Vega's pimple, shrinking or growing. Don't touch it. Also, does Andre Harris have a ketchup problem? Hmm. Does Sinjin Van Cleef steal famous teeth? Probably. Is it Splitsville for Beck and Jade? All this and tons more on Robberazzi, starring Robbie Shapiro. He's a dead man. Becky and I aren't splitting up. Well, dude. Kidding. I use an appropriate amount of ketchup. Let's go fix this right now. I, I don't know. Oh, come on. Why can't you admit that you're in love with me? Why are you in love with me? Because you're beautiful. Look at your face in the moonlight. I can't. You can. No. A person can't look at their own face. It's impossible. Then marry me and I'll buy you a thousand mirrors. But that's so many. My father's a billionaire. I can give you everything you've ever wanted. And I'm very good looking. Yeah. Think. And lights go? I don't know. It's okay that you don't know. But you deserve an answer. I can wait. For you, I would wait a thousand years. But that's so many. I know I'm poor. I know I don't have much to offer, but I do love you. Because I'm beautiful? I don't love you because you're beautiful. You're beautiful because I love you. Whoa. Why don't I put the disco? I'm sorry, I hit the wrong thing. No! Fifteen years ago, your mother gave birth to the wrong thing! All right, why don't we take a break? Tori, Beck, you guys were great. Really nice stuff. Thanks. How was I? I've seen worse. But guys, guys, everyone shut up a second. What you got? An email from Principal Eichner that says... To all students involved in our school's production of Uptown Downtown, Sophia Michelle will be in Los Angeles the weekend of the 17th and will be personally attending your opening night performance. Oh, oh my God. Who's Sophia Michelle? Oh, no, no, no. What? She gets to be the lead and she doesn't even know who Sophia Michelle is. Wait. Is she the lady who does those infomercials with a vibrating hairbrush? I love that hairbrush. <laughs> Look at the cover of your script. Oh, 
Sophie and Michelle wrote the play we're doing. Oh. She's like the biggest playwright on Broadway. Oh, yeah, totally. She's huge. All right, you guys. We knew we had to be great. Now we have to be perfect. We are not going to disappoint Sophia and Michelle. And you're sure you want Robbie in this play? I'm good. At what? I have to go take another nerve pill. Will you kill the disco? No one can kill disco. So what kind of movie are we going to make? I don't know. I was thinking something maybe intense, scary. Like Jade? <laughs> oh. oh! You knocked him unconscious! Hey, Beck, maybe we can rework that one-act play you wrote last semester? Yeah, I'd be into that. Oh, and I talked to a guy in the biz. He's gonna let us use professional film cameras, lights, whatever we need. Where are we gonna film? Oh, we can shoot it at my house? All right. I think we're making a movie. Let's do it! <laughs> I created this photo of me and Johnny Depp together so you could see what we might look like as a- On Santa Claus! Bladder infection! Out! Is that mac and cheese? Who cares? Just wanted to know if he was mac and cheese. I don't get it. What? I know Andre told you that I faked everything. The blood, the black eye. What is that, mac and cheese? Looks like it, right? Why are you here? Why are you here? Why didn't you tell on me? Because we both go to school here and it's not going to be much fun for either one of us if we're fighting all the time. So, you're just gonna let me get away with it. You took detention and a lower grade, and you're scraping crusty pudding off the wall on a Friday night just so I won't get in trouble? Pretty much. Well, you can't be nice to me when I've been mean to you. That's not how it works. Well, then try being nice to me sometime. Maybe that'll work. Now, go play. I gotta scrape this onion dip off the wall. Or onion pus. <laughs> This might be more fun with some tunes. I will give each and every one of you all A's for the whole semester. If? If you can all go one full week without using modern technology. No phones? No phones! <laughs> and no laptops or pair pads. No electronic device made since I was born. <laughs> Wanna take that bet? Let's do it. And I will yeah. it. Great. Let's have your phones. There you go. And the contest begins now. Great. Okay, I don't need my phone. All right. Wait. How will you know we're not using other people's phones? Because I trust your honesty. And I'm going to have Sinjin and Burf spy on you. It's you and me, baby. <laughs> Hello. You don't have to keep running away from me. I already asked Gabriella to be my date to the Cow Wow. Gabriella? Mm hmm. Well, what'd she say? She said, see. Sí. That means yes. I know. I looked it up. <laughs> <laughs> well, yay. 
You got yourself a pretty girl to take to the cow well. Yeah. Well, I just wanted to let you know you don't have to run away from me anymore. <laughs> Thanks, Robbie. See you in class. Okay. Gabriella. Thunderstorm. Excellent. Lights up. Next, um, Tori. Let's see the tornado. Full on? Full on. Blow me away. Just turn it on. Here we go. You're in reverse. Tori, turn it off. The shirt's a little big, but uh, I think it looks pretty good. Where's Rex? I heard Jade come in, yelling for Robbie. <laughs> Robbie! You want Robbie? Oh, so I'm a monster now. Let her tell it how she remembers it. Thank you. So yes, I was arguing with Trina because she wouldn't give me back my Cuddle Me Kathy doll. Trina, come on, please. What? I gave you the lead role in my play, so could I please have my doll back, please? <sighs> All right, just a sec. Here. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, I'm pretty sure she had a bonnet. <laughs> <sighs> Whatever. Take it. Thank you. Do you know what happened to it? Yeah. I blew some snot into it. <laughs> oh my god! Stop making me laugh or I'm gonna kill you! <laughs> well... Thanks for giving me my cuddly Kathy back. I am so happy. Ah! Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, I'm gonna go put my alien makeup on. Move! <laughs> it's not my fault you spilled your coffee, klutz. Hey, what are you doing? You missed two classes. I'm just sitting here. What, pouting? No. Listen, I know you're upset, but you're not making things better by ditching class and sitting here by yourself drinking a gallon of... chocolate beverage. Do you understand that for me, being taken seriously as a singer and a songwriter is everything. People do take you seriously. They did until... Ooh, yummy, yummy, ooh, yummy, yummy, ooh, yummy, yummy. It's catchy. Catchy like a rash. Hey, then if you don't like your song, change it. What do you mean, change it? I gotta get to class. You coming? Stupid song. I like to tuck a bathroom, ooh, cause it's my favorite thing to do, ooh. Every treat from yellow to blue, ooh, red and green, so let's all sing. <laughs> I don't know what you've been used to. Never been with a girl like Tori! Yo, Tori! We saw you run in here. What's with all that stuff? Sinjin and his friends are doing some play about a camping trip gone wrong. Gone wrong? They end up eating each other, I don't know. <laughs> Tori! Tori! Uh. Yo, Tori! Ow! 
Tori, come out to play. <laughs> Leave me alone. What up with the hot cheese attack on Kat? And her boyfriend, Daniel. Oh. I don't know. I mean, I'm so not the jealous type. I've never, ever done anything like that before, but seeing my ex-boyfriend making out with Kat, I guess I just... I just lost it for a second. And the next thing I knew, my hand was on the cheese valve. Oh, I have to go apologize to them. Okay, everybody out there on Slap.com, it's your man Andre. Tell all your friends. Ah! Ah! I caught you, slap handed. Look, I can deal with having less followers than Trina, but I will not have less followers than Robbie. I cannot have it. Oh, pathetic. I can't be last. Shouldn't we say something to him? Yeah. 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 You didn't even show up most of the time, and when you did, you just talked on the phone, ate our snacks, and napped in our jacuzzi. Oh, come on. You think Steven Spielberg really directed Jaws? Yes! Look, I really gotta go. Wait. What? You know I directed that movie. Beck wrote it, and Andre did all the music and editing. What did you do? I took the credit. Well, that's mean. You should at least share the credit with us. Man, you really don't get Hollywood, do you? Oh, by the way, the after party's been canceled, so tell your friends, no after party. Hey, great movie, Dale. See you at the after party. I'm there. Are you sure? Because it's my understanding that the minute... <gasps> Larry, oh my word, stop the film, stop the film! Look! Oh. Cat, don't move. I gotta go freshen up! Prison <laughs> Larry! Our grandma needs you! Except Robbie, is something wrong with your pants? No. Why, was I dancing weird? Uh, no, it was great. <laughs> now everyone go get some water, hydrate, and rest up for the show. Tori. Yeah, what's up? Your face, it's still hideous. I know, but my sister and Kat are already on their way back here from Bakersfield with the solvent. You're sure? Yeah, uh, totally, yes. All right. Great Northern Beans, that was horrible. I'm sorry, uh, but you don't belong at Hollywood Arts. No. All right, fellow faculty members for Trina Vega, let's all carefully check the no boxes on our forms. Agreed. Absolutely. Interesting. She's tossed some sort of device onto the floor. Hey, hey, what's going on? I don't know. There seems to be some sort of vapor coming out of... Trina Vega, yes! Trina Vega, yes! Trina Vega, yes! Trina Vega, yes! What's the worst thing you've ever done? Oh, I know. Um, I squirted hot cheese over my friend and her current boyfriend, who was my ex-boyfriend, and then I kissed him right in front of her, which I felt really bad about. But then it was okay, because she punched me right in the face. Put a star by this girl. Tell us something you love. Easy, music. And something you hate? 
Brussels sprouts. Okay. What if there was a really great song about Brussels sprouts? Well, you know, I'd probably, I'd probably feel like, cause when it usually depends on, the, um, may I go to the bathroom? Okay, okay, picture me sitting on a pony wearing a bright purple hat. I, I was wearing the purple hat, not, not the pony. Do they even make pony hats? Anyway, I was looking fabu. <laughs> so then I realized acting, it's really about not acting. It's about letting the emotions inside of you come out and represent moments. Are you dating anyone? Katie. I just think we should know if he has a girlfriend. Do you? Yeah, I do. Dang it! Okay. I'm Robbie. I'm Rex. Nope. Thank you for your time. Jerks. Okay, Jade, what do you hate? Uh, tuna fish, flowers, uh, cilantro, rainbows, ducks. Man, I hate ducks. See this filthy, icky tennis ball? Yeah. Look it. Fresh as a daisy. Do you even play tennis? No, but I'm gonna learn with the world's thinnest tennis racket. <gasps> Kat, does a person really need to have a tennis racket that, wow, it's so light? When I shut the cage, you turn on the lights. Got it. This is a good blend. <laughs> All right, double time, people. This play starts in less than one of your Earth hours. We're back. Ah, Cat, hurry. Go help Sinjin with the lighting cues. KK. Where's Tori? Still at the hospital. What? They lost her blood, so they're taking some more. Well, she better bleed fast. And where's Jade? Somebody looking for the best dang steamboat captain this here river's ever seen. Why are you wearing Tori's dress? Because she's playing hospital, so I'm playing Susie. Tori's gonna be back in plenty of time. Oh. Then I'll just keep her dress warm. <coughs> ah, now that cough sounded nice and thick, like cottage cheese. Very realistic. Yeah because the diseased man really gave me tuberculosis. Yes! <coughs> if you believe that, the audience will too. Rex! Rex! Is Rex okay? Is Rex okay? No, 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 no! What did you do? I, I, I just, um... Rex! Rex, can you hear me? Oh. 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 Is that you, Rob? <laughs> Robbie's here. It's me. It's okay. I'm, I'm busted up pretty bad. I've got to get into the hospital. Robbie. I, I've got to! Robbie! <laughs> You're starring in this play. The audience is outside waiting to come in. It's your job to entertain them, no matter what. Oh, oh, oh. oh I feel cold. Somebody's got to take Rex to the hospital. I'll take him. I'll drive. I'll go too. Okay, does anyone else think this is bizarre? Come on, it can't just be me. <laughs> all right, all right, showtime. <laughs> What'd I miss? Tori tried to murder Rex. Sinjin! <laughs> well, let me have him. <gasps> we'll take him to the hospital. Okay. Oh. I got him. Take care of him. I promise. <laughs> well, I'm not missing this. Whoa, 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 what is going on here? Kat sent out a mass text message that Dale Squires was here. I love mass texting. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Hey, hey, guys, you can't. Hi, Dale. I hear you're directing the new Johnny Depp movie, and guess what? I'd be perfect! Here's my headshot! All right, hey, 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 hey! 
If you are not in this class, then leave. Yeah. Yeah, you heard the man. Go on. Get out. Scoochie, scoochie. <laughs> hey. You too, Trina. But I look so good next to Johnny Depp in a movie. Please, Dale. Tori, can you make your sister leave? Trina, stop embarrassing me or I'm going to embarrass you. Don't threaten me. When Trina was six, our family went to the mall just before Christmas. Don't say it! And she peed! Tori! On Santa Claus. <laughs> Thank you, Tori. Dale? All right, what were we talking about? In all fairness, I did have a bladder infection. Go! And I walked into the black box because Robbie owed me 10 bucks and I wanted it back. Robbie! And I saw Tori and Trina fighting. Trina! Trina! What? I gave you the lead in my play. Now give me my stinking cuddle me Kathy doll back! Okay, okay. Just a sec, relax. Here. Where is her bonnet? <laughs> this thing? What'd you do to it? Uh, I might have blown my nose into it. Oh, you filthy skunk bag! I am gonna kill you so hard! <gasps> hey, Tori, I brought you some pansies. <laughs> Why can't I be pretty like you? <laughs> All right, next. Hi, I'm Trina Vega. Hello, Trina. Ooh, that's a funky taste. <clears throat> All right, Trina, take it away. I think this coconut milk is affecting me. In this life, oh, yes. Oh. Oh, it's so good. Oh, sweet my toes. And look what she can do. What's your problem? Do you know what they're showing live right now on funnydanger.com? What? A roller coaster got stuck at Mystic Mountain and there's an old lady hanging upside down from it. Oh my gosh, is this someone you know? No, it's someone I want to laugh at. <laughs> but I can't watch the live video because of our stupid bet with Psychowitz. All right, boys, girls, and others. <laughs> Let's get this rehearsal started. We're going to start with scene 14. Oh my gosh. Oh man. What happened to you? Jessica Baxter. She texted me about a hundred times last night and I didn't text her back. Well, did you explain to her that you can't use a phone? Yeah, right after she threw this egg at me and scratched my face. Oh, did Becky get eggy and scratchy? Yes, yes he did it. Listen, if you all want to use your phones, they're right here. The real question is, are you ready? Start the audition. Hey, you, what's your face? Get back in line, it's not a race. I am thinking, man, tell me the dream. Show you the plan. You don't know what you got. Every time I hit the spot, red, stop, green, go. Make up your mind, I'm starting the show. Oh, 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 you haven't seen the best of me. What she gets by what you see. Oh, 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 I'll give you some to believe. You haven't seen the best of me. And in that moment, he wasn't my big brother anymore. 
he was a part of me that I had to let go of forever. <laughs> oh, that is powerful, powerful, excellent. Can we just look at that boy's hair? Look at his hair. <laughs> um, and then I'm gonna do some juggling, and then I'm gonna sing a song from my favorite musical. Babe, you got 90 seconds. But it's a five minute audition. Action! <laughs> Just marry me, but I'm supposed to marry somebody else. You know you don't want to be with him. I don't know what I want anymore. I think you do know. Why do you always have to complicate my life? I love you. Juggling! And I know everyone is gonna love me now. <laughs> Life on the street is nail on the head. It's better than Vicks in the roof, but instead, the crowd will be packed and the crowd will be singing along. Oh, what a girl, what a nice face, this is my song. The biggest bang with the most to sing. If you're the hand on the diamond ring, by the way, I'm here for the song and the dance. <laughs> so give me one, just one, I've already won. All I need is just one chance. <laughs> you're bombing, boy. <laughs> will you stop interrupting me? You're kind of killing my jokes. How can I kill what's already dead? <laughs> being heckled by his own puppet. Now that's creative. <laughs> no, uh, this isn't part of my routine. He's really interrupting me. Knock, knock. Who's there? You, the terrible comedian. Ah! <laughs> Jeez, that is good stuff. <laughs> Let me out. Why are you doing that? Because you're bad. So, uh, you wrote this movie yourself? And directed it and starred in it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Just gonna sing, huh? I, I don't understand what... Shh. But you... In the bathtub. Stop it! No! Oh, that's the weasel! Ah! Did you like it? Yes! <laughs> Thank you for coming. No. He is a wonder. Bravo. That's him! That's him right there! Mr. Bowman, you're under arrest for the murders of... 
some people. <laughs> What's happening? What's happening? There is no way my violinist husband would harm anyone. People do crazy things for money. Mr. Bowman doesn't need money. Now, all he cares about are his socks and violins. Socks and violins don't come cheap. by the size of my knife. <laughs> now you're all gonna be murdered. In the dark! Turn. Well, that was the worst short film I have ever seen at this school. Uh, uh, uh.